All right, folks, good Saturday evening from Christmastown, USA, and that would be McAdenville, North Carolina, down here in Gaston County. Uh, we are back again this year. We brought you a video from here last year. If you want to check that out, it was a small town Christmas, North Carolina. Uh, we featured four towns. We finished with this one because it was the best one. Now, we are back again tonight, hopefully to bring you a better video, a more steady video, and certainly a better weather night. It was pouring the rain last time, and it was just a miserable night. So we are back here in McAdenville, North Carolina, and we are going to walk around and show you why it is called Christmas Town, USA. So go with us through McAdenville. Traffic as far as you can see to get into McAdenville. So very different than last year's trip is this year it is jam-packed we uh, made the mistake tonight of coming on a weekend night I knew better we did it anyway and it took us we were in line an hour and a half just to get a parking space yes and was. last year we had no problem with that bad weather night it was a weekday but uh, there are literally people lined up for miles to get in here mm -hmm. we were in line for an hour and a half but we are going to show you why this is called Christmas Town USA uh, I believe it has the best lights of anywhere in our state at least so this is just the beginning as we're coming in so we're gonna uh, park instead of driving through like most people do we're gonna get out and walk the streets because that's how you really see McCaddenville yes. you can walk down streets that you're not allowed to drive down so we're gonna do that tonight So when you first come into McCaddenville, there's going to be a roundabout. And as you can see, just the beautiful trees pretty much just line the streets in this section of town. And I'm very thankful to not be getting wet tonight. That's the one thing I will always remember about last year's trip was the rain. It was raining by. So we're gonna, uh, the reason we get out and walk is I actually read that you can see more of it. If you do that, we found that to be true. So we're gonna take a left from the roundabout down Academy Street. And this is one of the streets, as you can see, the traffic is not driving down. So if you just drive through, you're gonna miss this. And there's several other streets the same way. Okay, so we are now on Academy Street. And many, many of the homes down through here are just really decked out with a lot of lights, some less than others. No traffic except foot traffic on this road this is why I recommend you get out and walk and see the town on foot rather than trying to drive through because if you drive through you just basically stay on Wesley and drive all the way through town and that's nice too but to get the full experience here you want to do it on foot would you agree with that I agree 100%. we had never done that until last year and it, it made so much difference 
And we'll be walking down, I think another one is Church Street, if I'm not mistaken. That'll be on the other side of the roundabout. So we'll definitely do that as well. The only thing the homeowners ask is that you please keep off the grass. Very reasonable request. There's the sign posted for that. They got one of those star shower things on the house itself. I think you can see that, the red and green lights. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Try to pull back out a little bit on that. So I'm gonna step back here and I'm gonna try to just let you, this is the side of the street we just came down. Let you see how colorful that is. It's a little bit dark, but this is supposed to be the whole Peanuts gang right here. Old Pig Pen, Lucy, Sally, Linus, Snoopy, Woodstock, the little Charlie Brown tree. Charlie Brown himself, Franklin, Marcy, Peppermint Patty, and Schroeder playing the piano. And you can actually hear the piano sound when you get down to this one. If y'all can hear that. We're gonna go to the other side of the roundabout now. I'm trying to remember the name of the street. I wanna uh, mention it. The main street that goes through town where you do see all the traffic is Wesleyan, uh, Wesleyan Drive. There's a sign, I can't see what the side street name is yet. Church, that's what I thought it was, Church Street. So we're gonna cross the roundabout now and go down Church Street and see more beautiful homes. So this is Church Street and I remember being impressed with this road last year. 
uh, some beautiful homes. Some of them are a little obstructed because they got quite large trees right in front of them, but I remember this home from last year. Really, really liked it. So let me try to get around the crowd here. Let you see this one. Remember last year seeing that on their garage. Let me try to get up a little closer to that. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Cedar Street and there's a lot of really nice looking houses down through here. So this is a look down Cedar Street. We are going to walk down it but again just more beautifully decorated homes. a video the other night I can't remember if it was a top 10 or top 20 Christmas towns in America this McCaddenville North Carolina should have been in it uh, there were some nice ones featured but McCaddenville should have been in it uh, a lot more lights here than some of the ones that were featured and then some were, again were very nice but I walked by this Shaughnessy pointed it out they've got their door open so you can see inside at the massive tree they got let me step up just a little bit And folks, we have a gigantic snowman coming up. Yeah, it's huge. He's right here in front of this house. Here, I'll stand close to it so you can kind of get 
Just the puppy. I don't want to get in their yard. So All right, we got Shorty right here, and then we got <laughs> actually she's not short. You're what about five seven? Yeah. There's a grandma got run over by a reindeer Christmas tree. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> Here we got Snoopy, my one of my favorite Peanuts characters, and he does, yeah. And this snowman has fallen over against the car. We know all about that, not about against the car, but our snowman, we got a frosty, he don't like to stand up either. But he's playing his instrument anyway, yeah. yeah. Mickey's had enough for the day. Somebody sure. take a picture for me. We take a picture. I want a picture with Bunny. Bunny looks awesome. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. All right. In case that was um, too dark to show up, tell them who you just got your picture with. Buddy the Elf. Buddy the Elf. Let me see if we can. Merry Christmas. So now Buddy the Elf's running up the street. <laughs> okay, so we are now back up at the roundabout. We have been down Academy Street, Church Street, and what was that? Cedar Street. So we are now going to go down Westland Drive. This is the main stretch through McAddenville. We'll take you down by the lake and then up to the left, up by the church and the town hall. Merry Christmas. So the one bad part about Westland is you can't just walk down the middle of the road like we've been doing. Yeah. So they want you to take your picture here and then share your pictures with them. And this is the, what does it say? The Limleys. Limleys. Okay, so this is the Limleys.
Folks, some of the things you just saw, literally, I got seconds before they started turning it off. Some of the town things that apparently start getting turned off at 10 o'clock on a weekend. Thing over the what, what was it? <laughs> oh, yeah. So there's still a lot lit, but we're going to walk up the last street here. This is actually the main part of downtown. And I'm just hoping we're in time because there were some really pretty trees up through here last year. I wanted to get them this year without the rain pouring. So we're going to see. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, this is another thing that was evidently turned off at 10 because this sung to us last year. Yeah, it was lit up. Yeah. So we're just going to kind of see what we can see. But unfortunately, a lot of things that should be lit and were lit just a few minutes ago are not. So all of these trees that you can barely make out, we just missed by a few minutes. Really thought, especially on a weekend night, that. I mean, this is McCaddenville's main draw of the year, is the lights. We really have thought they would stay on until at least 11, if not midnight. Yeah, but, for Friday and Saturday. Now. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff up this street is no more. And I do apologize for that. If you want to see what was up this street, I guess you have to find our video from last year. Yeah, see, it's not even lit now, but here is McAddenville. Town Hall. Yeah, so there are actually lights in these. If we had just been here 10 minutes sooner, uh, there's an interesting thing here. I don't know if we'll be able to see it tonight. I did uh, feature it again in last year's video, but yeah, all of these trees, I remember them being very pretty last year. Um, right here's a couple of uh, propellers from this electric tur turbine. I don't know if you can see that. There's the Yeah, the battery's about to go, but Tom Thomas Edison was here. And he came to McAddenville. And that's kind of ironic because Thomas Edison had been in the light bulb. Yep. And there's a few they of those. Use it, yeah. So anyway, a little bit of history there. But yeah, all these little trees right here should be lit. Walking back to the van now, we discovered this little item here. Apparently somebody lives in the base of this tree because there's the door to their house. Did you say you saw that last year? Yeah. I had forgotten about it. Okay. I didn't think until I saw yeah. it pretty creative yeah okay well we do hope you enjoyed this tour of Christmas Town USA McAddenville North Carolina um, we were able to record about I don't know three-fourths of everything uh, we did not realize that on a weekend night the lights would go off at 10 o'clock uh, so that was a surprise I don't know I don't remember what time we were here last year I remember we went and ate first and it was dark then, so I would have thought we were here to about 10 last year. I could be wrong, but we were here like on a Tuesday. This is a Friday, or this is a Saturday night. You would think Friday and Saturday night. And I'll be honest with you, who I felt sorry for was the people who waited in, in about an hour and a half or two hours of traffic just to get into town yeah. and then not be able to see it. Those are the ones I really feel for. We, we got to see most of it, but... Um, so there's still a lot of houses. Yeah. that you can see and you can actually drive down the side streets now because yeah they've opened the, back up the whoever the town employees were i guess they are let off at 10 so they removed the sign so i guess you can see more of the side street yeah but the town lots as far as the trees and so forth they turn off at 10. um yeah we got we got to see most of it there was a lot of beautiful houses we did walk a little further down cedar street and then whatever that other street yeah. name was so we did do a little bit more walking and saw a little few more houses yeah. You know, the houses were beautiful. Like the, when you saw the lake scene where I was recording those trees out on the lake with the reflections on the water, that was literally about two minutes before it went off. Yeah, so I'm so glad I'm, we got there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very glad we got there again. I do feel for the people who were stuck in the line out all the way out to Interstate 85 and down Highway 74 here to the south of town. I feel sorry for them because we were in the line an hour and a half. Yeah. And uh, some of those were in line every bit of that. And then to get here and it be not on. 
I, I was a little surprised that they went off, but I'm going to tell you something. This is a must-see. If you love Christmas lights, you've got to see McCaddenville, North Carolina. Just be aware, and we're putting this in for informational purposes. Apparently, the lights go off at 10 o'clock. Yeah. So Not 100% sure during the week. But Saturday night for sure. Well, I would have thought maybe Friday and Saturday night would be the night. Later, they were but I'm checked before yeah. you come. But I don't think the crowds would be near as bad. Yeah, if you can come during, during the, week. the week, you will not have to spend as much time in line. Mm -hmm. um, we did last year. We did. We didn't spend any time in line. Yeah. We came right in here and parked. Uh, we were able to find parking here at the uh, McAdenville Wesleyan Church. We parked across the street at the school last year. But please just do yourself a favor. Find you a parking space get out and walk it and make sure that you can complete it by 10 o'clock because the last street going back up towards i-85 i didn't even notice what it was called uh that that is really pretty is about the, where the town hall is that is really pretty i remember it from last year it was pretty much turned off yeah i think that's mostly yeah. town stuff up there yeah but it, it's yeah. it's something to see too you want to take in the whole experience it's a beautiful place it is it's called christmas town usa for a reason mm -hmm. so if you do like this video um we hope you do uh, like and subscribe and find and follow us on Facebook and have a blessed night and a Merry Christmas